traveler, you must decide. Reality, dreams, fantasy. Where does one stop and the others begin? Your fantasies are integral to who you are. They affect how you perceive the world around you. What is natural becomes supernatural. Reality becomes hyper-real. Are you ready to leave what you know? Are you ready to journey to the end of time? I hope you are ready for a fantastic journey. For two decades, Rodney Matthews has been taking travelers on a voyage of pure imagination. You are in control of this journey. You are the traveler. I will simply act as your guide and occasionally bring you back to Earth. Remember, as you travel, there is always a goal. One is to see and to learn. The other is more complex. Traveler, not every journey you make will be simple. For many years, wanderers such as you have tried to unlock the secret of the castle of Tanalor. All have tried and failed. You may be just like the others, or you may be better. Those with tenacity will receive their rewards. As you travel to the end of time, keep in mind that there are 20 hidden clues to be discovered. You have found where the clue is buried when your cursor reveals Tanalor. Collect this clue. At any time, you may see the clues you have collected by clicking on the tablet. Each discovered clue will be etched upon the ancient tablet. Some clues are vital, others merely confuse. Complete the phrase that unlocks the myth of time and discover the wealth of Tanalorn and your reward. You may attempt to complete the phrase, but keep in mind, just like success, failure too has its just rewards. On your travels, you will hear the phrase but can you remember? Traveler, it is time to start your journey. There is so much here to explore. Hello, I'm Rodney Matthews. I'm going to join you on your journey. For a look at the creative process, or to take a tour of my studio, click on My World. If you would rather meet Elric, or go in search of forever, try Other Worlds. I'll see you when you get there. Welcome to My World the world in which I create images of fantasy. I'd like to give you the opportunity to discover a little bit about myself and what led me to this sometimes bizarre field. By choosing personal history, you can find out about my background and influences. Pick behind the scenes and I'll take you into my studio and into the beautiful scenery of Wales. You can even try your hand at putting together an illustration.
To understand the artist, you must understand the person, where he came from, how he grew up, what his influences were, how his work evolved. My father was, was handy with a pencil as well. He, he used to draw images for me as a child and get me to complete them. He would start a, a, a simple drawing and I would have to make something of it. So that sharpened the talent somewhat. <laughs> So my father was Traveller, you are brave. You have chosen to enter a realm of fantasy, a realm of pure imagination. You must open your mind to what you do not know, to what you do not understand. At the conclusion of your journey, you may see with new eyes, or your imagination may remain as clouded as before. It is up to you. Traveller, you can read, but can you see? Can you picture something in your mind's eye? Listen. From below were rising oddly wrought vessels, something like ships, but with huge round wheels at their sides, like the wheels of water clocks he had seen once at Picarade. Colored smoke issued from chimneys mounted on their decks, which swarmed with huge birds dressed in human clothing. These birds had multicolored plumage, curved beaks, and they held swords in their claws, while on their heads were strangely shaped black hats, on which blazed skulls with crossed bones beneath. What did you see? An image or a fragment? The artist can tell you what he sees, he cannot tell you how he sees. Listen, read, and try to see for yourself. I like illustrating children's books because I feel I have more freedom there. Children's book called Yendor came about in a in a rather unusual way, in that I traveller, you are brave. You have chosen to enter a realm of
I did my first calendar in 1978, Wizardry and Wild Romance. That was a title. In 1985, the artist and his family moved to North Wales. Some say rugged, inhospitable, windswept. He says inspirational. It is time for you to choose where to go. I'm very fortunate as an artist in that I can work from home and while my customers are in far-flung parts of the country or even of the world, they're happy to uh, communicate with me by means of telephone or fax or postage and it suits me very well to work in this very quiet <laughs> Hello, I'm Rodney Matthews. Ever since he was a child, Rodney Matthews has been fascinated with the beauty of nature spending hours roaming the countryside. So much of what he sees around him eventually becomes incorporated into his work. Insects, trees, shorelines, cliffs. An avid photographer, he captures what surrounds him and later... Sometimes the earth itself is my inspiration. The, uh, the rocks and the, the rugged landscape of this area. You can see. 